In the part 1 blog of Hokkaido we arrived at New Chitose Airport explored Otaru city and enjoyed the snow experience tried street food and had the eight flavored ice cream if you haven't seen that video yet the link is in the description we will spend the next two days at Sapporo in the most attractive prefecture of Japan let's get started our first spot for the day is Odori Park we have to take a tram to reach there Let's go. Tramps are not so common in Japan, so it's exciting to be on board a tram and enjoy snow-filled Sapporo city. <laughs> Beautiful. We actually boarded the wrong tram and came in the opposite direction but while on board I made some changes to our plan <laughs> and this is even a better plan. We are going to Mount Moiwa. We are at the Mount Moiwa Iriguchi station. Uh, so we will be taking the ropeway and go to the top of the mountain. Let's go. This is heaven. Amazing view. 
but it is slow, so slippery <laughs> i'll better take a ticket to go down instead of trying to hike by foot i'll definitely fall down and i will not reach <laughs> let's enjoy the view while we are here go up. Holy God, what is this place? and the ropeway experience was wonderful right now it's uh, 1 pm let's go for lunch i found an indian restaurant named uh, jyoti <laughs> uh, let's go have full meals walking in the streets is so challenging because it's extremely slippery and i already fell once in the morning <laughs> The Indian restaurant will be open only in the evening, so let's come back for dinner. Now for lunch, let's go have Japanese curry rice. Lunch is done. We are in an area called Susu Kino. This place is especially famous for its nightlife. So let's come back for dinner at the Jyoti Indian restaurant. And right now let's go to Odori Park which is in a walkable distance from here. Let's go. Odori Park is located in the heart of Sapporo city stretching for about one and a half kilometers and the Japan's largest snow festival happens right at this park in the month of February. Looks like some work is going on in Odori Park. Next let's go to Sapporo Clock Tower. The clock tower is a symbol of Sapporo city. In 1881, a clock purchased from Boston was installed in this building. Now this has become a museum and we can learn the history of this building and various interesting insights on clock mechanics. Sapporo clock tower was interesting. Let's head back to Susukino for dinner. The food at Jyoti was excellent, extremely authentic. I totally loved eating there. Let's close our day one of Sapporo at this point. Bye bye.